Greetings. Greetings from Earth, Dr. Jackson. Please, do not touch the Stargate itself. As you'll be familiar. Can you reverse the polarity? I'll do my best. Okay, one, that's Star Trek, and two, it's ridiculous. What's wrong with it? The name I suggested. For the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, we can't call it the Enterprise. Why not? There's a long-range scanner. So that's just what we call them. Strong on old TV. Yes. Oh, we're not calling it that. Oh, good. Then what about, um... And we're not calling it the Enterprise either. I wasn't going to say that. Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. Hey, your dog tags say otherwise. They're lying. Your American accent is very impressive, Mr. Kirk. I'm just saying hi. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're doing. I've seen that look before, Kirk. He's aboard my ship. What are you, Captain Kirk? The whole uh, Captain Kirk routine is problematic, to say the least, let alone morally dubious. Oh, my God, he is Kirk. What am I, Captain Kirk? All right, let's remember where we parked. Weapons to maximum. Sir? It's a joke, Marks. Make it go. Phaser? More like a photon torpedo. We'll hold them off with those phaser things. Phasers? Sorry, sir. One of these days, I'm just going to call him Dr. McCoy. I'd love to be there for that. All right, that's not a hologram. He's the real McCoy, right? I think so. It's worse than Dr. McCoy. Who? The TV character that Dr. Beckett plays in real life. I'm a bloody medical doctor, not a magician. For the last time, I'm a doctor, not a bloody fighter pilot. <laughs> Beam the man. What am I, Scotty? At least my heroes exist. This was a Trek convention, you'd be all dressed up like a Klingon. Vulcan, Felger, Vulcan. And I don't know how you can call yourself a scientist and not worship at the altar of Roddenberry. Oh, how are we gonna go to this one, Captain? Oh, I don't know, something to do with the tachyon emitter? Guys! Oh, come on, Felger. We might as well be wearing red shirts. I don't get that. Did I have a goatee? You don't have beards, so you're not from the evil twin universe, right? You no, know, the Federation had ships. Oh, yes, you probably got a job as a Klingon at Star Trek The Experience. That shut down. Really? Damn, I wanted to see that. She's not gonna understand. She can barely follow an episode of Star Trek. <laughs> the Genesis device. Ah, oh, the end of Wrath of Khan. Well, in layman's terms, we beam you up and then down again. Well done, Bones. Never mind. My name's not Kirk. <laughs> <laughs>